We are getting ready for the holidays and what a better way to celebrate than with something that makes memories. And Becky's here with us with the perfect place map for Thanksgiving. Yeah, so I have to be honest, these things were a lot more complicated than I originally thought they were going to be. Mm -hmm. One, I was dealing with a two and a four year old. Yeah. So that's going to cause problems yeah. there. But the other was, there's a special way to cut burlap that I didn't even know about and you might not either. Check it out. If you'd like to make four placemats, you'll need one yard of burlap, scissors, fray check glue, poster board or cardboard, measuring tape, two inch size letter stamps to spell the word gobble, paint brushes, and black, brown, white, yellow, orange, and red fabric paint. We'll start by laying out, measuring, and cutting the burlap. When I picked it up at the fabric store, the woman at the cutting station let me in on a little secret to cutting this particular fabric. Measure where you want to make the cut, find the string that's nearest that location, then carefully pull that individual string out. Why? The threads that make up burlap don't necessarily fall in an exact straight line. So following this guideline might create some slight imperfections in the placemat rectangle. However, while the uneven nature of the burlap may make our placemat slightly uneven, it will overall look better if we keep each individual thread intact. It tricks your eye into thinking the rectangle is perfect. So once the string is out, you'll see a gap in the fabric. Cut along that line. Do this with your burlap fabric to create four rectangles measuring 17 inches by 13 inches. Next, I added a little fringe. Depending on how you want these to look, this step may be optional. I simply removed a couple of threads from each side of the placemat to create a more country style look. You're probably noticing that these threads are extremely easy to remove. To keep this from happening any more than you want it to, you've got a couple of options. I used a special glue called Fray Check and applied it to each side of my placemats to keep the threads in place. Or, if you're feeling extra crafty, grab your sewing machine and sew each side in place. Now it's time to start painting. I placed a piece of poster board underneath my placemat then using my letter stamps and brown paint, I painted on the word gobble to the top and bottom of each rectangle. I set each aside to let dry and then went and grabbed my kids. Admittedly, this part may be easier if your children are older than two and four, but it is still doable at this age. First, I applied a generous amount of red paint to one hand and placed that hand print towards the middle of the placemat. Then I painted a generous amount of brown paint to the other hand and placed that handprint right next to the red one. The children were told not to touch anything and we quickly washed the wet paint off, then waited for those handprints to dry. This was probably the toughest part of the project for me. Finally, time for the yellow handprint. That one goes in the middle. Once all the handprints were dry, I painted the body, feet, eyes, and nose of the turkey. I have to say, each turned out so cute, and I now have a fun memory to keep of Thanksgiving 2016. Missed a step? Head on over to 9news.com slash fix this for all of the instructions.